Well, let's talk about wrapping and not the kind of music. In Alibre, we have the ability to put a sketch on a curved surface and either emboss or deboss that surface. Here it is. So let's start. Uh, I'll move to my right plane. We'll make a sketch. I'll make a horizontal line and I'm going to model something like a wedding ring, right? I wear a wedding ring every day. It feels pretty natural for me to make. So I'm going to work on that. Now I can choose symmetric and I can choose a point of symmetry and I can choose my arcs to make sure that my arcs will be symmetric. And then one more tangent arc going across here. I can start giving these dimensions, right? I can make this line right above my origin to be 0.375. I can give this a radius of 0.035. I can give this a radius of 0.5, oh, I should say 0.325, and I'll give this a width of 0.3. And we're fully defined with just four dimensions. We'll deactivate the sketch. We'll make a revolve. I can select my axis just like that. Now, sometimes rings have text engraved on them. How might we do that on this ring? Well, for that, I recommend using a new tool that we haven't covered yet, known as Wrap. As you can tell from the picture, we can place text on a curved surface. So I'll go ahead and create a plane here. We're going to offset that. I'll go with a distance of 0.5. For wraps, I do like to move to the outside of my part. I'll activate a sketch. And uh, we want to engrave some text. And so just like in the last video, I'll use some sketch text, maybe the generic romance for a romantic ring. And I can place my text and apply. I can choose the coincident constraint and this marks the center of my text and I can put it right there on the origin. Now I can deactivate the sketch how do I wrap the text? Well, I'll select wrap and this menu comes up and from here I can select a face that I wish to wrap on. And you can see we have a very romantic ring and I can take that down a little bit, right? Maybe five thou. And we have a romantic wrap. This is known as an emboss, but we can also deboss an emboss is something that adds material. A deboss is something that removes material, so we can deboss this. And now we've removed material and we're engraving in the ring. And that's our romantic ring. So I can say OK if I like that. And as always, I can come back and edit my wrap if I want to make changes. We have this focus here. And what does that mean when we're on our nearest point? And how does that change from sketch center and sketch plane. And as I've selected these options, you've probably noticed there's really no difference between anything that I've done different. So what is the difference between these three options if I can run through them and I don't see a change in my model? Well, let's edit our sketch that drives this. In fact, I'll get rid of my sketch text. I'll insert some new sketch text. But this time, I'll move my sketch text off center. Maybe I can add a horizontal to make sure it's centered if I wish, but now it's off center from our ring. So what does that get us? Well, if I go to edit my wrap, we're at the nearest point right now. So if I focus straight on the front plane, my sketch is right about there. If I were to draw a straight line to the nearest point of the ring, that's where the wrap starts, the point that is nearest to the sketch. So I can change this to sketch center. And as you can tell, we have moved. So with sketch center, we, uh, it's actually technically defined as the nearest point on the target face to the center of the bounding box of the sketch. Uh, so it's another nearest point 
but it is the nearest point of our sketch center. Next, I can always choose sketch plane. And sketch plane is different yet again. And I think this one makes the most sense to me cognitively, right? Because when I look on top, it starts right about where our sketch starts. So you have several options on how you would like to map your text out. But this is, of course, is projecting onto one single face. What happens if I change my sketch so that it goes across multiple faces? Well, let's find out. I'll edit my text. Maybe I'll give this an angle of something like 30 degrees. And then I'll deactivate. And straight off, we can see that this does propagate across all kinds of faces and all kinds of surface conditions. So wrap is a powerful feature that when we edit, we can also see, we can choose the nearest point or the sketch center or the sketch plane. And it all works. And that actually looks uh, pretty fashionable to have romance diagonally across the ring like that. That is how we would wrap in a Libre and the settings that we can use. And that is how we wrap, no beat included. See you in the next video.